Condition of chemical equilibrium. Consider a chemical reaction such as two carbon dioxide to two carbon monoxide plus oxygen. To avoid cumbersome writing, let us denote the carbon dioxide molecule by A1, the carbon monoxide molecule by A2, and the oxygen molecule by A3. Then the above chemical reaction becomes 2 of A1 turns into 2 of A2 plus A3. The system consisting of A1, A2 and A3 molecules is supposed to be maintained at a constant temperature and pressure. If we denote by N sub I the number of molecules of type I, the Gibbs free energy of this system is then a function of these numbers so that uh, G is a function of N1, N2, N3. Since G must be a minimum in equilibrium, delta G must then vanish if in accordance uh, with the reaction, two A1 molecules are transformed into two A2 molecules and one A3 molecules. By reasoning similar to that of the pre preceding problem, show that the equilibrium condition must be written in this form, 2 mu1 equals 2 mu2 plus mu3, where mu i's are the chemical potential, partial derivative of Gibbs free energy with respect to the number of molecules in the i th phase. That's mu sub i. Okay, so we're going to write uh, the change in the Gibbs free energy dg it is a partial derivative of g with respect to n1 dn1 plus partial derivative of g with respect to n2 dn2 plus partial derivative of g with respect to n3 dn3 we can do this because Gibbs free energy is a function of three variables n1 n2 and n3 and with that the change in the Gibbs free energy is mu1 delta n1 plus mu2 delta n2 plus mu3 delta n3 where mu i is defined as del g del n sub i and now in the reaction where I have uh, 2A1 uh, turns into 2A2 plus A3, uh, we have 2 moles of A1 becomes 2 moles of A2. So if you have 2 moles of A1 here, it becomes 2 moles of A2 and 1 mole of A3. So uh, Avogadro's number n sub a is the number of uh, molecules per mole 6.02 10 to 23 per mole so i have uh, if delta n1 is equal to uh, minus 2 avogadro's number then delta n2 will be plus 2 avogadro's number delta n3 will be uh, 1 Avogadro's number. So it will be n sub a. So uh, if I substitute this for delta g, delta g is going to be a mu1 delta n1, mu1 times minus 2 Avogadro's number becomes mu2 times 2 Avogadro's number plus mu3 times Avogadro's number. This has to be equal to zero at equilibrium. The Gibbs free energy must be a minimum. So we obtain the Avogadro's numbers will uh, cancel. Minus two mu one plus two mu two plus mu three must be equal to zero or the chemical potential two mu one must be equal to two mu two plus 2 plus mu 3 as suggested in the problem statement so this is what we were supposed to show uh, so these mu i's are uh, chemical potential of the i phase so here we're going in between uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and oxygen. So what I'm calling phase is, are, is basically becoming different 
uh, chemical compounds in this case.